the world is waiting for you. Welcome to our traveling family in birds, adventures. Join our journey. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Angus Adventures. We are staying in Kota Kinabalu and today we are going to the island because it's very nice weather, huh? It's way too hot to stay in the city. What do you want to do today on the island? Find seashells. Find seashells, yeah. Hey there, we are in Kota Kinabalu and just off the coast of this vibrant city lies a beautiful collection of five islands with white sandy beaches and beautiful corals. Welcome to Tunku Abdul Rahman Park. This national park is a favorite amongst the locals and a perfect getaway to escape the busy city. Each of the five islands has its own characteristics and charm. So how do you know which island is best? In this video we will show you all you need to know to make this decision. So stick around if you want to know more about this beautiful paradise. Thank you! Starting out strong with Blau Manukan. Let's give you a quick overview before we dive in. Here is Borneo, this is our Grote Island, we are now. And here we are going to go to the Sala Kleinse, to Savië. Woohoo! Sit in! Manukan might be our favorite of all the islands. It is the second largest of the bunch, plenty of room to explore and hang out. And if you walk a bit further, you might stumble upon a sweet spot of deserted beach just for you. There are a few small restaurants selling coconuts, some restrooms, the basic essentials you really need. Just don't expect too many options when it comes to any of these islands and just bring your own food and drinks on the boat. lucky you can get some wildlife here too. All the kids love this little one, but then came its mama. We have seen these land monitors before, but these ones were a lot bigger than we are used to and came much closer looking for food scraps under the table. They are not aggressive though, and just minded their own business.
wanna try for you. In general, it is best to visit these islands during the week, as many locals come here to celebrate the weekend. We also noticed that most people leave before noon. After a whole day of swimming, playing on the beach and eating snacks, we took the last boat at 4 p.m. back to the city. We are back and excited to explore a new island. To get to any of these islands, you first come here, Jesselton Harbour. Inside here, you can get your tickets. They are fixed prices starting from 35 ringgit up to 65 for a four island tour. Once you got your tickets, you wait here for your boat to arrive. Welcome to Sapi Island, the smallest one. Google promises this one has the best views and the clearest water, so let's find out if that is true. Sapi was perfect for our family. The sea was undeep and clear for meters out, and full of little fish. Sapi lies just a few meters from Gaia Island. During low tide you could even swim between these. There used to be a zip line between the two, but that pond has been on operational for a few years now. Sapi was my favorite. And I actually filmed the entire time we were swimming. Just a two minute boat ride from Sabi lies Padang Point on Gaia Island. 
Gaia is by far the largest and covered with dense virgin tropical forests. It has many hiking trails and a mix of camping spots and fancy resorts. On the other side lies a complete opposite part of the island than the luxurious resorts. The east coast is home to a well-known illegal Filipino colony called Kampung Lok Urai. It is home to about 6,000 people. The population is growing and growing and new houses are built towards the sea. You can now easily see this village from Kota Kinabalu mainland or doing your boat ride to any of these islands. Since most people come to Gaia for their hikes or the resorts, we had this whole beach to ourselves. Snorkeling here though is not the best. But I do think this is the perfect island when you want to spend a couple of nights. Before we dive into the last island, we need to talk about one that gets often forgotten. Pulau Suluk. It is the only one that hardly sees any tourists, and most tour operators don't even come here. It is almost like a hidden secret to the fishermen that come here for a nap or a barbecue with friends. Sadly, we couldn't find any transportation to get there, as most people do. But it's worth mentioning it exists because it's much more undiscovered than the other ones. Welcome to already the last island we are visiting. This is Pulau Mamutik. This island feels different than the other islands. It is the least popular, so it's more quiet. And it has more pine trees, giving it a totally different atmosphere. This to end if I stay, never There was one downside though This was the only island where we had to deal with sand flies Oh yeah? Cool. So this is one of the smaller islands of the National Park Which means there's a people And then more beautiful corals to summarize our experience, here's a quick overview of all the islands and what we think of it. Thank you for watching till the end and stay tuned to find out where we are heading to next.